Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth with truth and sincerity, especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and Akwath out there learn, listening and learning. You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you, I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, by Hashem in the name and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls by the name of JC. Right? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the buzz in the world, right? The buzz on everybody's lips right now. What the fuck did Putin just say? What, what did he just say? Right? Got all, they got the whole world in an uproar, right? Everybody, what the, what the? No, he did not just say that. No, we can't have these whatever word they want to use, right? By word they want to use. Ruling over us. How dare him say that the Lord is a so-called black man? How dare him say the prophets and the angels are so-called black men? Got the whole world in an uproar. Hey, got people them having wheelbarrows with Bibles thrown in it and lit on fire. Hey, look. Yeah, that's a whole nother subject. But point being is this, not at all you niggas in the world know who, who you are, because the men of the Lord clearly been saying it for a long time, for the for the longest time, letting you know that you Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians are the Israelites, the people of the Bible. You didn't believe us. You didn't believe our account. All right. But you're going to you're going to let a, a Edomite named Putin from from Russia. Get on, uh, get on the news. And, and let y'all know what we've been telling y'all this whole damn time. Now y'all, now y'all cool with that. Oh, we the Israelites. He said it. We believe that. You believe him, but you didn't believe nothing that we told you. Hey, this is the point. Now that you know, what you gonna do about it? That's the name of this lesson. This lesson. So now you know what you gonna do about it. All right? It's one thing to know. It's a whole nother thing to do. Let's get it. This is Mark chapter four, verse three. Hearken, listen, all right? Behold, look, there went out a sword to sow and it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up, all right? This word came to him and it was of, of, to, to no avail. Went back, right back into the world, Okay. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. All right? Yeah, we was like, oh, 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 oh. Fire died out, back into the world. All right? <laughs> and some fell on thorny, thorny uh, salakia, and some fell among thorns, and thorns grew up, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. Just didn't give it to him. All right, the Lord, the Lord is not dealing with these people so far. All right, that's what you're getting. Verse eight, and other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some thirty and some sixty and some in hundred. All right, the one, the ones who 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 understood this word got up on their feet, went out there and and, and teaching the scriptures, man, waking our people up, the elect. All right to to let them know who they are and constantly dealing with works constantly making works man bringing that fruit man bringing uh having having uh other people hear this word uh the hopeful elect and coming in and doing the same thing man all right james 1 and 19 wherefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to wrath for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the most high Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness 
the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. What is superfluity, brother? We're going to get into that. Definition of superfluity. All right? An, un an unnecessarily or excessively large amount or number of something. Surplus, excess. Okay? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and excess of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Oh, Putin said we Israelites. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah, well, hearing is one thing. Doing something about it is a whole other thing. Okay? Again, but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man, so I can, for if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. All right? Again, it's kind of like that, that saying in the world, uh, uh, actions speak louder than words. All right, hearing hearing is one thing, putting into action is a whole another thing. Putin, let's let all you all you Israelites in the world know that you're Israelites because you didn't you didn't listen to the prophets. All right, so now that you know that, what you gonna do about it? You gonna act on it, or you just gonna uh, receive the, the 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 understanding of who you are, but just leave it at that. You should really uh, get down with it, man. This is the winning team. When the Lord come back, hey, it's like the Lord uh, uh, playing dodgeball, and he's letting y'all know, I'm picking y'all for my team. And you sitting there saying, no, thank you. <laughs> Imagine that. The Lord playing dodgeball, he's the captain of the team, and he's picking you, right? Come back to the statute, laws, commandments, the obedience of y'all, by Shem, y'all shy, be on his team, and y'all say, no, thank you. you. You heard what he said, but you... Disregard. You you pull away your shoulder. But anybody that that's dealing, hey, that's a good thing, man. That's a very good thing. All right. This is Luke twelve and thirty two. It says, "Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom." See, the Lord wants us to win, man. He wants us to win. He don't want us to die. He don't want us to perish. Why why die for for foolishness, man? He loves, he loves you, Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians. You are his people. Above all people upon the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Psalm 135 and 4. Go look it up. We are above all people. Ain't no equality. The Lord didn't say nothing about no goddamn equality, man. The Israelites are above all people upon the face of the earth. It, yeah, it may not seem like it right now because we transgressed. We pissed them off. So he put us on the bottom. We went from the very top to the very bottom. That's balance, man. The Lord is about balance. And you got to understand that. If you got a child and you love your child, you give your child that the, the best of everything, right? You spoil the hell out of him. He do something bad, what you going to do? You're going to punish him, right? You're going to put him on punishment. You're going to take away his toys, all right? You're going to take away uh, uh, his, his TV, all right? The, the keys to the car, whatever, however old your children are, all right? And you're going to discipline them because you love them. You want them to do right. Right, but if it's somebody you don't give a damn about, you ain't you ain't gonna say shit. You just gonna let them keep doing what they doing too, cause you don't give a damn. You you hope that they hurt themselves. <laughs> but look, the, right here, the Lord said it's His good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Why would you not want that? Why would you not want to take hold of that information, right, and put it to your best use? This is Jeremiah three and twelve. Go and proclaim these words toward the north. Right, America, and say, return thou backsliding Israel, you Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, saith Yahweh Washington Al Shai, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith Yahweh Washington Al Shai, and I will not keep anger forever, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against Yahweh Washington Al Shai, thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh Shai. Look at that. All you gotta do is acknowledge that you that you messed up. 
acknowledge that you uh uh uh, uh did Yahweh Shai wrong. Admit your faults. Repent these things. Right? Like I say in every one of my lessons. Repent, not just for this lifetime, but your past lives as well. As far as you can go back to remember anything that you did that you that you believe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai would not like, you should be repenting that. And repenting daily. Because hey, every day we do something that's off to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's a guarantee. We're in this kingdom. You, of course you're going to go off some type of way. So you should be repenting every day. All right. The, the point of this. All right. Was to acknowledge. Acknowledge that you messed up. And come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. All right. Come back to this. To, to the winning side man. Stop being uh, niggers. Stop being Mexican. Stop being Puerto Rican. Stop being you know uh, Cuban. Uh, Dominican Republic, Brazilian, Jamaican, so on and so forth. Right? Stop being these things. Be an Israelite. Be of the tribe that the Lord called you. Okay? Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. For the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You see? Ask the Lord for a clean slate, if you will. All right, that means you got to stop stop being of this world and come back to the heritage, man. Come back to the statute, laws, commandments. All right, the obedience of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and follow through with it. Don't just be hearing. Don't just be hearing that you're an Israelite. Learn that you're an Israelite and be an Israelite. All right. Well, that's pretty much it, man. All right. So with that information, again, now that you know. What you going to do about it? Lord willing, this is edifying, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially in hours of your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Y'all better stay prayed up, repent, not just for this lifetime, but your past lives as well. Kwam Yashurala, Shalom.